back to the show. Welcome. I so good feel to see so you. official at this desk. It does, right? But you, and you've got, you got, you got the suit, you've got the thing. You I'm got ready. The look. I came dressed like yeah. my business clothes. You look like you're ready to host. I like this. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the show. Thank first you. First things first, congratulations on the new movie, Second Thank Act. You. Can I tell you, what, what was interesting about this movie is I, I didn't know what it was about. I never read reviews. I never, I, so right. I just I watched the movie. And in the beginning, I thought, oh, it's going to be a rom-com. I was like, OK, right. J-Lo, back in a rom-com. And then you're there, you're kissing Milo in the movie. Right. And I was like, OK, this is it. And then, no, it just flips. And it's a right. comedy about a woman who is fighting to, like, reinvent herself. Yeah. Uh, like, it, it's in, not in traditional world. romantic comedy, right. where it's like boy meets girl, and they have problems, and then they get back together. This is, this is more about a woman falling in love with herself and her own life. Right. You know, and realizing that the mistakes she made early on in her life that she hasn't forgiven herself for um, actually lead her to her pur purpose and her and her happiness and her right path. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. Can you relate to that? Yes, absolutely. In, in what way? I mean, I think we all beat ourselves up when we don't... We, we think our life's supposed to be one thing. And you're going along this way. Like, I, you right. know, I was like, oh, I'm going to be a movie actress. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then, you know, and I make music. And, and then all of a sudden, you're like, not working. And then they go, well, how about you be on American Idol? And you're like, well, that's not what I imagined things to be. But you're like, well, maybe it's supposed to be different than I thought it was. And then turned out to be the best thing that I could have ever done. Right. Whereas everybody else was like, nah, don't do that. I don't know, your career is over. I'm like, mm, no. And so there's different ways to get to where you need to be. That's a small example and a very kind of triumphant one for right. me. But there's been many moments in my life where I was like, you know, struggling and decide, you know, at the point where you're ready to give up. And I think this character in this movie also has, is at that point in her life where she's like, maybe I just... Maybe I'm just not supposed to do this. I don't know. Right. You know? And uh, maybe my life is going to be this. I'm born on this block, and I'm going to die on this block, and that's it. What I, what I also loved about the movie is it's, it's, it's really funny, but there's also this message the whole time, which yeah. is we are not who people think we're supposed to be, you know? Like you, like you said, she's born on this block. And, and in that clip we saw, it's the manager saying, hey, look, I mean, you're good. You know everything. No, you're amazing. You're amazing. But sorry, yes. you don't get the job. Yes, you yeah. don't have the name, you don't have the look, you don't right. have the title. And then when you get that name and look and title, people look at you in a totally different way. Right. Yeah. Did you, have you ever felt that in your world? Is there like, is there like a thing? Have you ever lied? Let me put it that way. <laughs> have you ever lied about something to get something? Like, yeah. Yeah? Yo, yeah, sir. <laughs> have you? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, was, I mean, I can't, you know, I lied on my 8 by 10 resumes. Like, you know, they had that place where you wrote special skills. What were your special I don't skills? Know you, I mean, skydiving. Like, I put anything. <laughs> I, I remember, like, I, I auditioned for this, like, Olympic commercial when right. I was first starting out. And I was like, God, I got to work. I got to get something. And I was super young. And, and um, I remember I came in that day, and I was on fire, like, in my audition. I was like, blah, 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 whatever. And I walked out, and I knew it went well. And right as I walk out, they say to me, and the camera was rolling, they say, by the way, do you know how to do a trampoline? Can you do acrobatics and things like that? I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I get the job, and then I go to Canada to shoot this Olympic commercial, and, of course, the trampolines, they're like, ready for the trampoline? I'm like, yes, and I get on it, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and it's like... And Luckily, the producers, like, fell in love with me, and I loved them, and they were like, wow, so you know how to do the trampoline, huh? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The, the, um, the, the chemistry you have on camera uh, with Leah Remini oh, is, my God. is phenomenal. Are you, are you guys real-life friends? We're real-life best friends. Because there's a scene where you, you're slapping each other. And she's right? slapping me. Yeah, but you slap her afterwards. But I, like... I had to. I, I what genuine, if somebody slapped you four times? What are you going to do? I genuinely didn't know if that was in the script or no, not. No, it was not in the script. You know, one of the thing, great things about doing this movie and doing it with Leah is that if I felt like if we could capture our relationship, because we're real friends. Right. Like, for real. Like, lifers, right? And so, you know, we laugh. She, she makes me laugh like nobody else. We cry together. We've been through hard times. We, we call each other on our bullshit. You know right. what I mean? Like, we're real friends. And uh, in that scene, it was specifically, you know, we were trying to bring all the real stuff we could to the roles. And she was like, you know how I do that thing? I'm about to pump you up to go over to this guy. She goes, I'm going to do the thing I do before your shows where I go, who's the champ? And I go, OK, yeah, yeah, do that, do that. She was like, who's the champ? And you say, I'm the champ. I was like, OK, cool. 
She does it, and then the first take, she starts slapping me. She's like, who's the champ? And, you know, I'm playing it like I don't know what she's doing. I'm like, uh, what? And she goes, who's the champ? Come on, I'm the champ. And she starts slapping me. Right. And I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go with this. By the fourth time, I was just like, boom, stop. <laughs> <laughs> enough, enough with the slapping here. This but it was like... a lot of fun, because that's the type of things that we could do. Right. And the whole, the whole movie carries that theme. It's uh, a woman who's rediscovering herself, moving into a new world, and it feels like Jennifer Lopez is doing the same thing, because on the same day that the movie's dropping, you have a music video dropping for Limitless. I do. And is it true this is your first time directing? Yes, it was. It was. It was a first... Yes, I'm so <laughs> soon. Thank you. Me. Right. It was a big deal for me, yeah. And you, you, so you get, you decide, okay, I'm gonna direct the music video. I'm in the music video, and your daughter's in it as well. I did. I put my daughter in it. I didn't want to put my daughter in it. My daughter's name is Emmy, and she's an angel, okay? <laughs> Drop down from heaven. <laughs> and she, um, she's like, Mom, I want to do it. She knew I had to have a little girl in the video, and when you see the video, you'll see it's, it's, it's about you know, struggling. Being born a woman, like, you have an uphill battle right away. Right. You're not a man, you're, you're struggling a little bit. And I wanted to kind of personify that little girl inside all of us who's always kind of fighting with you every day, even when you're my age, right? And she, she knew I was doing that, and she was like, Mommy, I can do it. And I was like, oh, God, I don't want her to do this. The hours are gonna be long. I'm directing for the first time. I'm gonna have to push her. What if she's not good? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I stuff running through my head. And she, when I tell you, I died. She was so amazing, and I, I, I get goosies right now thinking about it. She just... It, it's such a beautiful thing that we got to do that together, and that it was my first directing experience. And, and the song written by Sia is amazing. I'm excited for you. Thank you. You know, I'm excited because it's weird. Every single time <laughs> you come here, there is something new that you're looking forward to. You bring a light with you. You bring an energy. And uh, I'm excited to see what the, the next Thank journey... You. You're gonna be... You know what? You're, you're gonna be directing your next movie that you act in and write and do the CGI for and the, right. tram and the trampoline stunts. You're gonna be doing that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jennifer Lopez, <laughs> trampoline <laughs> stunts as well. Yes. Jennifer Lopez, everybody. Thank you so much for coming back to the show. Second act. We'll be in theaters December 21st.